What's cracking? It's your boy Stalo here, back in again with another video. And two videos ago, I did a video of these pretentious rappers who were just trying to make it, like they said in their video of one of their freestyle songs. Um, um, and it, it ended up being their best song, but it was still a shit song. Um, and last video, I did it on a rapper that did make it, but was canceled like the US Grand Prix in 2020, which we're gonna get to soon. Um, this one is about another rapper, and that is, uh, well, a freestyle rapper, like uh, another name I'm, I'm about to mention in this video uh, said um, in the video that I'm gonna be referencing. She is Megan Thee Stallion, and that other name that I'm gonna mention, stay tuned for that one. Um, but first, some of y'all know that I'm a massive F1 fan. Some of the newer subscribers probably don't know that. Um, and uh, I've mentioned it in one of my videos. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's still up, but um, yeah, there's been uh, there's been some tea. U.S. Grand Prix. Uh, last video I talked about how I keep unintentionally rhyming. This one was kind of intentional. Um, and um, and um, everything is so tight here. It's like Monaco. Yeah, um, you know, F1 gets a lot of exposure from from the media whenever they go to U.S. Grand Prix, and it was um, it was it, it was pretty big this year because because of the coronavirus pandemic uh, last. U.S. Grand Prix, uh, 2020 was canceled. Also, if, if this helps, F1 is owned by uh, an American media company, and it is just trying to make it in America. Um, and it it gets so much traction whenever it, in in American media whenever it does uh, the U.S. Grand Prix, uh, which is in Austin, Texas. And honestly, next year is going to be another one. So. There's going to be two U.S. Grand Prix, so just stay tuned for the T. Um, two terrible layouts, in my opinion. Um, may, I don't know, maybe I should turn this video into an F1 channel, because right now I just feel like I'm just, just dumbing shit down, and I'm like, I want to talk about a fun, God damn it. But yeah, um, I, that's what I'm kind of doing now. U.S. Grand Prix, celebrities don't have to travel to uh, to go on the grid, uh, and because celebrities, they just... They just get to walk on the grid, right? Um, and with celebrities walking on the grid, there's also grid walks. The grid walks are usually conducted by uh, by the Sky Sports by Sky Sport uh, Sky Sports panelists, and um, most of the time it's Martin Brundle. Sometimes it's David Coulthard. David Coulthard has been ignored by Christina Aguilera, but he went he fired back at her later on in the race. And a few car lines of the, the lead car as uh, Christina Aguilera fakes an interest in Formula One. <laughs> and um, the, um, but they're lined up. Martin Brundle has been ignored too. But um, um, for this particular incident, uh, he had a particularly rude encounter. Um, and Megan Thee Stallion is probably getting some bad, bad reputation for this. And honestly, I wasn't really too fond of her before this so like i mean what is it gonna help but basically martin walks up and asks her something a bit of a cringeworthy question but he was he was kind of going somewhere with it so like whatever it is wasn't as cringeworthy it wasn't meant to be as cringeworthy as 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 it as it appeared to be but um megan the stallion who was shot by um a, a, a wonderful person wonderful heavenly soul called Tory Lanez. Oh, such, bro, it, that guy is just full of class, bro. That guy is just, oh man, best best, best fucking person, best fucking person, bro. He, he would literally pick up for you at 3 a.m. He would drive you across town for some waffles at like 4 a.m. and then drive back. Just a lovely fucking person, honestly. He wouldn't dare to think of shooting anybody. Anyway, um, so, you know, because this wonderful, um, you know, not waste of space at all. Um, <laughs> shot Megan the Stallion. Her security, like the security around her, has kind of been more strict. But this one was a little bit overboard. So Martin Brundle walks up to her, um, m likely more rich than she'll ever fucking be. Um, 
asks her you know it's, it's just another celebrity that he, that he walks up to her and even said he's not all he even tweeted after the incident he's not all worried about bodyguards goes up to her asks her that particular asks, asks her that question and uh, before he gets to ask the question her bodyguard shoves him away and he's like oh well that's a that's a that's a big looking bloke to to sort of um take the piss out of him a little bit like like they say in his country and um then this um tree hugger looking ass goes up to him you know austin um and uh and says you can do that and um on honestly that is probably the most I, I, I don't know if that guy's from Austin. I think he was part of Megan's Entourage, and I don't know if he happens to be from Austin or whatever. Um, but that is probably one of the most Austin things that I've ever seen at the U.S. Grand Prix and in Formula One in general. Just one of the most Austin things was 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 that guy going up to him and being like, "Hey, you can't do that," thinking thinking he did something, thinking he's thinking he's king shit basically. Uh, who are you support? Who are you supporting in the race? Uh, I can do that because I did. Yeah. This guy, this 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 disrespectful, entitled, fucking piece of wonder work goes up to Martin and, and and says, "You can't do that." And Martin just decided to not give him his time and just said, "You know what? I could do that because I just did." And man, F1 fans are saying that he's a legend for that. And honestly, bro, I one thousand percent side with Martin, man. Um, Megan, if you're not gonna respect the event, you should just you should just stop attending F1, man. Right? You've never watched a race in your life, and I don't even need to know you to know. I, I've I've never even listened to your music it, a, a, apart from involuntarily listening to beautiful mistakes, which would be playing on the radio and everywhere. And it was a Maroon Five song, so that's why I made it to the radio. That bodyguard, I don't know. He's probably vibed to. Migos' Motorsport. I don't know if that's that's the name of the song, but um, he doesn't know shit about motorsport, as you can see. At, at, at least not this form of motorsport, F1. Just pushing um, one of the best drivers to never win a race, because, you know, he's been in midfield teams um, on competitive cars, Martin Brundle. And he's driven, you know, for, 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 BBC, for BBC, like, part of his reporting work is to test F1 cars from every fucking era. And honestly, he has probably one of the best jobs ever. I mean, he, 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 he got to drive a Formula 1 for a living and he still does it for reporting. And he gets to interview celebrities, gets to walk on the grid, gets to really geek out on F1, gets to interview drivers, gets to interview, um, like I, he's like the first person to interview a driver once, once, once they're crowned world champion. And that is how big F1 is. Like it's, 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 if you win the championship, you are a, you are a champion of the world. Um, FIA world champion. Let's just, let's just watch it again. Let's just analyze the video. Yeah, it is. Uh, and that's a very big bloke in front of her. I don't think, uh, Megan, Martin Brundle from British television. How are you? Martin Brundle from British television. That's, 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 that's kind of adorable. Goes up to her and she's like, "How are you?" So like, yeah, she was uh, she was honestly, if it wasn't for that bodyguard and that tree hugger looking ass, um, that pretentious tree hugger looking ass, holier than thou looking whatever ye ass haircut. Honestly, I I I I I I'm bad with roasts, but that is a pretty ye ass haircut. Um, <laughs> um, um, it would have been just another grid walk interview and maybe even an awesome one. Like the one where Ozzy Osbourne, actually, I don't think you can beat that one. I don't think you can beat that one. I must, I want to have a word with this guy because he's complete and utter fruitcake, as we all know, and we love watching him on the TV. But um, let's see if we can, he's got, he's got a very big uh, minder here at the moment. Pasquale, can you sort anything out for us here? We've got six or seven million people trying to, uh, trying to listen to what Ozzy's got to say. Ozzy, British TV, good to see you. Good to see you here. Uh, Sharon had some good news this week, I hear. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just in the currently writing a musical about the life of Tommy Rasputin and the Mad Monk, and we just got uh, they're allowing it, they're allowing it to go on Broadway. All right, I'll try and think of a question for that answer. Did you bring the dogs with you? No, they're all at home shitting. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. I think we'll move on. But yeah, it would have been another just great interview. Great interview. Is that is that the term I've been using? I just came to an epiphany 
and and saying, hmm, I don't, I'm not sure that sounds right. I was questioning the, but anyway, yeah, he just goes up to her and he's like, how are you? So she was open to talk, but then this, 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 this guy's like, yo, 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 get, get out of here. Megan Thee Stallion, you're a, you're a freestyle rapper. Um, I think she's happy. Okay, boss. So he goes up to her and bodyguard pushes him away. And again, that was before he got his question in and she gives him a, a little tap and then Martin's like, okay, I, I think she's happy. Oh, okay, boss. Honestly, he took it in a pretty humble way and not, not, it's not the first time, yeah, it's not the first time he's been humble. I mean, he, he was strangely thrown off the grid thrown thrown out of the grid um in, in in china and i think 2007 and to uh jensen button who's also had a very very strong qualifying busy losing my radio here we'll tuck that back in my pocket as we go don't know if we can have a word with mark weber see if we can rib him a little bit about the uh see if we can rib him a little bit that's okay they wait they're expecting us down there uh, i don't care the goes. yeah don't we just want a quick word with jensen What's the time? It's not. It's not ten two. It's not ten to the hour. No, no, it's not. You can't do that. We have to get off the grid at ten two. We've. You've got a job to do. I've got a job to do. I want, we've got Keanu Reeves down there, Jensen Button. I've got millions of people want to know what what he thinks. Okay, we can wander down there. Okay, Stevie. I think. Uh, well, I don't know where Jensen's car is. Where is his car? Right. It's a bit too far down there. So, back to you, Steve. Good try, Martin. Just the kind of situation where he needed Keanu Reeves there, I think. <laughs> and he didn't pull the you know who I am card. He was like, oh, I got a job to do. You got a job to do. This is this is just what I do. This is this is just a man doing his job, okay? And this 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 dude after comes comes after him and he says, you can't do that. That's his that's his job though. That's his that's his job though. He probably have no idea who the fuck. He he 100 percent has no idea who, who that guy is. You're a freestyle rapper. Have you got any rap for us today on Formula One? <laughs> I have no rap today. I'm sorry. If you look at her body language, she does not want to talk. At least, at least she's granting his wish, right? But being like, whatever, this guy wants to interview. I'll let him do his thing. But if you look at her body language, she really does not want to talk. And I'm. I, I, I think that's a little bit disrespectful. She's not honoring the tradition. He, tr he chose her. She's just doing it for the gram, honestly. He's gonna give her more exposure than an Instagram post or a, a, a song ever will. Not an album, not an album, but a song ever will. And honestly, talking to him and get, having a little interview with him, it's gonna, it's gonna make it's gonna expose her to other people like honestly i feel like uh, honestly there's a good few f1 fans i never heard of her and the grown-ups watching f1 the ones that actually saw a young martin brundle um you know saw martin brundle up and coming just like megan the stallion's up and coming they've likely never heard of megan the stallion and they could hear of her honestly if she if she just gives her gives them a bit of her time she's worth like 20 million and he's worth 100 million um actually i, I want to see before looking this up i said that i was i was about to say that megan the stallion's worth 20 million uh and martin brundle's worth 100 million megan the stallion's only worth 3.5 million 3.5 million which is honestly a lot of money but i mean she acts <laughs> like she's worth more like she, she she acts more than her net worth basically and Martin's worth a hundred million. That is that is crazy. That is that's crazy, but it makes a lot of sense considering his achievements and uh she was just like her body language like I ain't got no time for this guy. But <laughs> this guy is worth more than you are worth and honestly a more even match again would, would be David Coolhart and Christina Aguilera because both are worth so much. Whereas like Megan, I mean, come on, you're worth three point five. Don't act like you're fucking worth three three hundred million. Don't 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 act like you're fucking Beyonce. Like like you're just a tear and they're Beyonce. Please don't do that. Um, yeah, you're not uh, you're not that big. Um, but anyway, uh, guess what? You made it to the end of this video. Um, my socials are right over here, and um, you know.
Love y'all. Take care of y'all. Take care of yourselves and um, have a wonderful, blessed day and um, and a blessed life. Peace out. I'm out of here. Stay fucking hydrated. Always remember that. And uh, see you in the next video. Uh, who you support? Who you supporting in the race? Uh, I can do that because I did. Yeah. Okay. She seemed very happy to talk, didn't she? That was very nice of her, and I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and please subscribe if you want more. And tap the bell to know whenever the next video is coming up. And while you're at it, check out these two beauties. You will not regret it. They're right there. Just click on them. Peace out, I am out of here.